What's up you guys, Sarah Herring here for Poker News and as I'm sure you've noticed, we are having the first ever online World Series of Poker. And for international players, we're in full swing with the set of tournaments, 54 bracelets that started on July 19th and is going until September 6th. So we take a look periodically at what we see as tournaments of value, a little segment we like to call Value Town. When searching for value, it isn't just about the price point necessarily. Of course, there's going to be a lot of things that factor in. And so for me, when looking at the schedule this week, it's like pretty much a no-brainer in my opinion that the Colossus and the Palasis are the best value to jump into this weekend. If for no other reason, then it's a cumulative $4 million in guaranteed prize pool. So that's pretty sick. Now, the $400 price point might be like a little bit extra for a lot of people, myself included. It's a little bit out of my normal bankroll, which is very small. Uh, but, you know, there's enough other factors that if I were to say, you know, want to take the occasional gamble, which I also do think is kind of important, that this would be a spot where I would probably want to go ahead and do that. So, you know, up to you, but this is definitely something I see as a place where you could find yourself in a, in a really, truly life-changing spot. And if you don't have the $400, which I can completely understand, you can qualify through direct satellites on GG Poker for as little as $3.24. So it's definitely, uh, you could, you can definitely get in there for a reasonable amount. Now, the Colossus itself has a $3 million guarantee, $3 million guarantee, which is just absolutely insane. And there's going to be 14 opening flights with um, at least two running every single day. So that's pretty sick. There's 13 minute line levels. I think at the very end of the starting days, there's one tournament or a couple tournaments that are 10 minute blind levels, but primarily 13 minute blind levels. And you start with a 50K starting stack. And that to me is just so great. You're going to be able to actually play some pretty solid poker, I think. And re-entry is unlimited as long as late registration is open. And, you know, so if things don't work out for you, great. But in addition to that, if you want to come back and do the other starting flights, you can just take whatever is your best starting stack and that is what will go with you into day two. Which is, you know, some people like that, some people don't. I personally think it's pretty cool, especially if you're a player who has like a lot of money to fire. Um, but even if not, you know, I I think this is, this is a great, it's a way to build the prize pool, right? Um, so if you're into say four cards instead of two, there's a PLO version, which has a $1 million guarantee, also just an incredibly solid guarantee from GG and they have 15 starting days um, versus the, or 15 starting flights rather, versus the 13. But in in conjunction with the Colossus, the Colossus also has this 50K starting stack, which is great. And also the re-entry is open until the end of late registration. So that's my value town for the week. If you don't already have GG Poker, I'd suggest uh, downloading it via the link on Poker News. I will put a link in the description. And in the article that I'll put in the description, it has sort of all the, the if ands, and buts, all the nuances, but essentially you can get a welcome bonus up to $600. So that's just free money, which is great. And if you want to check out all the rest of the action, be sure to check out the live reporting on pokernews.com. We're live reporting what's happening on WSOP.com over here in the States and also what's happening internationally on the other side. And we recently launched a Discord server so you can jump in that conversation and you know upload videos, all kinds of multimedia stuff. It's been really fun. I've been pretty active in there and I have been really enjoying it. So that's bit.ly slash pokernews discord. I'll also put a link in the description and thank you guys so much for watching.